All right, today we're looking at a question where um, it's been requested that I go over a tax type question. So <clears throat> here is a prepared tax question for you. You can find a link to it in the description below. So James, age 37, earns 33,200 Rand per month before deductions. He receives a medical aid credit of 638 Rand per month. That it would be the medical aid credit or rebate for two individuals, the principal member of the medical aid and one dependent. His deductions before tax are calculated as follows. 7% of his gross salary is paid monthly into a pension fund and 1,100 Rand is contributed to a retirement annuity per month. Okay, then if we take a look at the questions, calculate his net salary per month after deductions, and then we're also given a tax table here and our rebates, as well as another question which asks us to calculate his net uh, tax on his income and the percentage of his gross income that is paid to tax. Let's tackle the very first question. So, let's go for tax. We've got a question where you're asked to calculate his deductions and then subtract them from his salary so that we can find out what his monthly salary would be. So, his monthly salary is 33,200 Rand. And we're going to work out the pension first. So the pension, if we get 33,200 and find 7% of it, you'll find that the pension is, let's take a look quickly, uh, double, double, double check that, 2324. I just want to double check that quickly, 33,200 times 7%. Yes, okay, good. We need to be careful with these tax questions because things knock on quite badly. Right, from there we're going to take his salary then of 33,200 and subtract from it his pension, 23,024 Rand, as well as his pension uh, contributions or his, his retirement annuity contributions. Remember, retirement annuity is a type of private pension fund that we use. Okay, so 33,200 minus 2324 minus the 1,100 will give us a monthly uh, income or monthly tax taxable income of 9776 per month. Okay, right. <clears throat> uh, going forwards, uh, yes, that is his monthly salary. So we've got that his monthly salary is equal to twenty nine thousand seven hundred seventy six after deductions. Very good. Moving on to one point two. Now <clears throat> we need to take his monthly salary, his taxable income, basically, and transfer it to this. This is our tax table, where each step here is a different band for salary and or income. All right. So if you earn between one rand and two hundred and five thousand nine hundred, only eighteen percent of that needs to be paid as tax before we take off the rebates. Okay. Uh, then if you're sitting in this band, you'll be paying a fixed amount of tax plus twenty six percent of the income above 205,900. Okay. This portion here, this fixed amount, is actually the tax on the first 205,900. So if I go 205,900 and I multiply by 18%, you'll see that that is the same fixed amount for both of these. Okay, the same amount for both of these. And that's how it works, because this whole table is to make things a lot more simple for you to be able to work with. So that you don't have to calculate all of the steps. This was the maximum amount of the previous tax brackets. Okay, so we're looking at 
these these are annual salaries i need to find out how much he earns then in a year okay so the first thing we need to do is take the total that he earns and find out what it would be in a year 29776 multiplied by 12 gives us 357312 okay so 357,000 rand, 357,000 rand sits him in bracket three here because it is between those two amounts. Okay. I always like to state which bracket it is because then I know that I'm going to be able to refer back to the right place. And if you make a mistake and you're doing this as a, as a, a test or exam question, sometimes there are marks for choosing the right bracket and if you make them if you state which bracket you've chosen and then you work with that mistake you can often make up the problem okay so i'm first going to work out our gross tax okay so the gross tax is equal to and now you need to use the formula we're looking at bracket three so we can copy out the formula so far so if my formula tells me or my little thing 67144 plus 31 percent of the amount that he earns over to 321,000 so we're going to go 357312 minus 321,600 okay so that's the fixed amount plus the variable amount or the sliding amount. We're only taxing the amount that they earned over 321,600 at 31%. Very important that we keep that in mind. So this amount stays the same. And I always like to work out what this would be. So this is a fairly straightforward one. 31%, I always use my decimals here. And then I put in my brackets, 357, 312 minus 321 600 because that was the lower end of my bracket so i'm adding 11,070 rand and 72 cents in tax we don't round off the cents we keep it please now that's our gross tax there are a couple of things that we need to look at now he gets a tax rebate here and also he gets a medical aid credit of 638 rand per month as well and both of those come off the tax right so this is an annual rebate that is a monthly credit we need to work around that so we're going to look at this our net tax well, the tax will be payable to SARS sometimes you'll see it stated as that all right we add those two together to get my total gross tax sorry I forgot to do that 4 plus 11 0, 0, 0.72 so altogether he's paying 78,214 rand and 72 cents so that's 78,214.72 we need to take away the rebate because he is 37 years old we're going to take the primary rebate for people who are under the age of 65 so that's going to be 14,958 okay and then we also need to take off the credits so he earns he gets that credit but it's for each month so we need to multiply that by 12 okay you can once again type all of this into a calculator all at once nobody's really going to mind too much just check that you always put in the right numbers 14958 this is rebate and then 12 times 638 rand this is rebate so 55672 cents that would be his net tax so that would be my final answer there same way that that monthly salary would be my final answer there Okay, good. So let's just go over that again. You find the tax bracket by multiplying the monthly uh, salary after 
deductions by 12 to get the annual salary. Look up on the table for the right tax bracket. Use the right formula from each line in the tax bracket. So if you find tax bracket 3, this is the formula you use. And then we take off our rebates and credits and that gives you your final amount for that. Okay, now my last question. Determine the percentage of his gross income which is paid to income tax. So, one, two, three. Okay, and we're looking at the percentage of gross income that is paid. All right, gross income means everything that they earn. Okay, is gross income. So, what we are looking at then is the tax that was paid, five, five. 672 cents and now we're looking for gross income gross income would mean the amount before any deductions or anything else like that so we're going to have to work that out he earns 33,200 rand per month right before deductions that would be the gross income because it is <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about uh, the percentage of, of, of income before tax or anything like that or whatever gross income is gross salary okay we multiply that by 12 so that I can get okay, we need to multiply this by 100 because we're doing a percentage so five five six hundred sorry I'll put that down for you five five six hundred point seven two multiply it divided by 33,200 multiplied by 12 times 100 okay we are getting a percentage of 13,96 percent okay right so and there we go that was a run through of taxation for you and hopefully this has made it a little bit clearer so